Hi everybody. Uh, this video to help you finish your MATLAB assignment in DC Motor Experiment. So in this video, I'm going to uh, show you how to calculate the fine full load tor uh, current and how to find the speed and torque constants of DC motor, how to sketch the speed against torque, how to sketch the speed against current, and that will be for the shunt motor. And if you got it, uh, so you can do also for the series motor. It's very simple. So just let me give you a brief description of DC motor. That's the DC motor structure you have here. It consists of two parts, stator and rotor. Stator, it has the magnetic or magnet, uh, as you see here in uh, north and south, the spermic magnet, but uh, you can have like winding on the north and the south connected to a source, and then you, you create the field. And that's the way that uh, you can see in chant or series uh, DC motor. The armature, it's in the rotor, has like a winding, and this winding connected to commutator, and the commutator can get the power through brush. So the brush is like touching the commutator and connected to a battery where it supply voltage to the winding. That's why when you look at the equivalent circuit of DC motor, you will see that it's part of brush, commutator, winding, they represent like that. So that like represent the brush, brushes of the DC motor, and this represent like uh, the rotor, and sometimes they put the resistance inside, and this resistance represents the resistance of the winding here, and sometimes I mean just to get it outside, and they call it RA armature resistance, and they connect it to the supply, the battery. V, for example. And on other hand, the field here, like I mean, it's winding also, another winding, you wrap it here and there, and you have to connect to a uh, power supply. If you connect it to different power supply, it will be separately de excited. If you connect it to the same power supply, you are connected to the armature, just make it in parallel like that. So you call it chunt, and that would be the field resistance. All right, and what is here? I mean, it will be uh, EMF be produce voltage produced here. Why voltage will be produced here? And this is a motor because I mean, when the motor rotates, the conductor will be rotating inside the magnetic field. And according to Faraday's law, if any conductor moving inside the magnetic field, it will induce EMF or voltage. And this voltage, you call it EB back EMF. All right. If you look at the current, the current through the armature circuit, they call it IA, and the current through the field, they call it IF, and the total will be coming from the supply, they call it I. So, the current in the shunt motor will be equal to IA plus IF. All right. Okay. And uh, by the way, the same voltage here applied to the armature will be the same applied to the field. So, IF is equal to V over RF. And be careful, because sometimes the add resistance to the supply, if the add resistance here, so the voltage here will not be the same at the field. But in this in this case, as you see here, it's just connected, no drop voltage here, so the same voltage across the armature is the same equal to the voltage across the field. And so the IF is equal V over RF. And since RF here is constant, I, the field current also will be constant. If nothing here change, okay. Now just let's go to uh, the first requirement uh, of this assignment. It said that find the full load, find the full load current. To find the full load current, you got to find the full load power, the find the, or find the full load torque. Uh, how you get this information? It's a practical problem. Uh, uh, when you have any motor, you'll find uh, on the nameplate of the motor giving some uh, essential information. You'll be giving the horsepower, and in your example, I mean, it was like 20 horsepower. And giving the nominal voltage, which is 250 volt, and the nominal speed, which is 1150 revolution per minute, RBM. So this information was given for you in that. So the full load current is related to that. 
because this is the outer part and usually given it's a full load it's a full load so how you can get the current corresponding to this full load okay so i mean the current it's coming from the supply so you have to go back to the input uh, because as you know in the mo in the dc motor you have input power and usually it's electric power and the output power which is mechanical so that's the mechanical power at full load so what's the corresponding uh, input voltage you know that the volt if you go to the dc i'm talking about dc shunt by the way that's i mean the input that's the battery the voltage and this is the current so the input voltage will be equal to the voltage of the supply time the line current or you can say the voltage and the current is equal armature current plus field current so it's equal v i a plus v i f so uh, that's i mean the power input there's power coming to the armature circuit and power coming to the field circuit so you have that total power uh, well i feel already i mean uh, you can calculate it because you know the voltage and you know the rf is given so you can find this part but ia you don't have it and you want ia corresponding to the full load so you want to find the corresponding current for the full load for the 20 horsepower so of course i mean some loss to go from the output power to the input power backward like that so you got to calculate the all losses in the dc mode i did for you some chart here and this is chart like i mean uh, simple one all right uh, when you look at this uh, chart that's the input power and the input power oh, uh, that's the voltage time the current that is just explained now and the problem now we don't know the armature current how you get it so you go backward you see the output voltage what you have 20 horsepower this is your out this is the full load power you are going in from the motor change this to watt or kilowatt multiplying by 746 you get then what then you found the 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 output power then you go backward and you add the loss what are the losses there is a mechanical loss here uh, winges and friction all right so you add this one and you add the other uh, loss magnetic which is iron and ed current it's all given in your problem and then you add the copper loss which is the r uh, ai square times RFIF squared that's the, the cover loss due to the resistance of the winding in the armature circuit and in the field circuit so when you add this the hour power plus losses I just immediately write it I mean what is B input so B input is equal to B output plus losses what are the losses you go back mechanical losses Winch and friction given iron losses magne called magnetic losses which is iron and ed by the way it's giving i mean i made it easy for you in the sheet you'll find i'm adding both and it's giving as uh, the 250 watt iron and friction losses i mean i got iron and i added 250 watt and then plus the cover loss is r a i a square plus r f if square this is already calculated it's equal uh, vf over rf it's given ra is known but the problem that you don't have ia square and the pm but i just did now is equal vi which is equal v ia plus v if so in the end you will have the quadratic equation everything is known except ia square and ia so it will be like I mean some constant number here equal zero you will get a quadratic equation you solve it you will get two values there is one value will be acceptable and other value is rejected so in this way you get the current of the armature that's corresponding to the full load that's done the first uh, requirement because I mean many students ask me about this part how it this is the way that you do it okay now I uh, will go to the second requirement. Do you want to find the constant, the speed constant, and the torque constant? All right. Uh, of course, you have now the information. You have the full load current. You got the speed 
it's 11.50 revision per minute. So how can you find the, uh, the constant, the speed constant and the torque constant? All right. We know from the armature circuit that's the armature resistor and that's the back EMF and that's the voltage. All right. All uh, right. We don't need this one now, but we have to complete the program. Field current, armature current, I. The voltage, if you look at the armature circuit, applying Kirchhoff voltage law, the voltage is equal to IA, RA plus the back EMF. The back EMF, uh, it, it, it depends on the speed, it's proportional directly with the speed, and also proportional with the field current. Why? Because the field current makes the flux, the magnetic flux. If you increase the magnetic flux, the speed will increase, the EB will increase, the, the voltage will increase. So you can say that the EB is equal constant times N times IF. This one is required to find. All right. So how can you find that? Well, go to the equation. EB now, it's equal to KN IFN. From this equation is equal V minus IA times RA. Okay. At full load, you will use the value you just obtain in the first part, the current uh, corresponding to full load. RA is known, the voltage is known, the nominal voltage. 250 volt KN you don't know you know IF VF over RF all right and that's the speed the nominal speed that it's equal to uh, 1150 RPM in this way just like for loading so KN the speed constant is equal V minus IA for load RA divided by IF and F and substitute to get the constant so that will be the constant of the motor all right of the speed you want to find the other the other uh, constant uh, torque constant all right uh, you know that the developed power is equal to the back EMF times the armature current at full load I'm talking about full load and at the same time is equal the torque developed uh, developed torque times the speed omega they are equal the power can be calculated through the electric or mechanical so electric is volt time i in mechanical torque times speed but the speed has to be angular speed and I explained to you before how you how you, how you change the uh, the speed from rpm to uh, 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 radian per second the angular speed is equal pi over 30 times n, where n is revision per minute. Then you will get the speed in radian per second in this formula. Okay. So now that's, I mean, from this uh, formula, you can uh, find the torque corresponding to the full load. Because, you know, the, uh, you know, the current you know, the EB, the back EMF, you know, the speed, and then find from this one the torque, developed torque at full load. All right. You know the torque and you know the current. If you divide them, you get the constant, uh, KT, because the torque is proportional to what? It's proportional to the flux, which is IF, and also proportional to the current. So the torque is equal constant, it's another constant, torque constant, times IF, times IA. So, from this equation, you can find KT, the torque constant. All right. So, you, fi you found the, the constant uh, of the motor, one for the speed, one for the torque. Then, you you, you will start to, uh, part uh, the second part, sketch the speed, again, is torque. You want to sketch the speed against torque 
the same equation that we found in the last page that uh, the EMF is equal the voltage minus the armature times IA we know now that uh, this is equal to the speed constant times IF times N and we know from the torque equation that the torque is equal to constant times field current times armature current okay so uh, from this equation we can find IA in terms of the torque so IA will be equal to uh, TA divided by KT IF from this equation we can find that N uh, equal AB over KN IF let's continue this equation so AB which is KN IF N is equal V minus RA times IA so it will be RA over KT IF this is IA uh, times TA I want N with the speed so I divided by KN IF so the speed N is equal V divided by KN IF minus divide here so we have RA divided by KT and KN just put the constant next to each other you have IF and IF so be IF square it's a constant value that's it times TA that's the equation I'll just uh, write it in a nicer way I will say N is equal N naught minus this constant called K TA so you can sketch the graph with the MATLAB what's N naught? the speed at no load when there is no torque is equal V divided by KN IF what's the constant K? that the slope of the curve by the way it's equal RA divided by KT KN IF square so all these values are known so N naught is known K is known so you want to, to sketch N against TA so you will have like uh, TA N you have N naught then you start to plug to make a table or in the MATLAB you put value for TA starting from 0 and find the corresponding value of N and just have many of course you're not going to make a table you're going to make it a program in MATLAB so it will be much better because you can change the torque you know like every point one point one to get smooth uh, curve or smooth relationship between the speed and the torque so that was like I mean one another one was like find uh, or sketch the speed against the current speed against the current it's the same thing because you know there is a relationship between the torque and the current we say that torque is proportional with IF IA and we said that torque is equal K torque times IF times IA so it would be very similar to the first one okay just gonna uh, again the number four sketch the speed against field current all right then it was required to sketch the speed versus no I'm sorry was uh, versus resistance that is in the field okay let me just have quick review on this you got your DC motor you got your battery RA back EMF and the armature I'm sorry the field the added a variable resistance So you have R field and you have another resistance added. They call it R in this problem. So they want to find the relationship between the speed and this resistance region. And the resistance is given in the field, it's changing from 250 to 500. That will be the total change in the. Uh, yes. Yes. Okay. So that'll be the total change for the resistance in the 
field. So what it's supposed to do, you want to find the relationship between the speed and the resistor. How you do that? You have to go to the equation uh, in the field. First, the speed always affected by EB. So you have to write always the equation. EB is equal the voltage minus IA RA because the current in the armature IA. Good. The speed related to EB in this equation, Kn, IF, N, equal V minus IA, RA. Remember that if the torque is constant, and which is the case here, the current will be constant because the torque is proportion directed to the armature. So since the T is constant, IA will be constant. So this is constant, and this is constant and the voltage is constant. The only variable here are which you change the whole field circuit. All right. So now I want to I want to I want to write them in case. So I'll say n. What's the speed? I divide it by k and i f. So I have v minus i a r a. That's all. I mean just one term and all constant. All right. And usually the resistance. RA is always a small, like a uh, very small value. And in some analysis, they ignore IARA to have simple uh, calculation. But just, I mean, leave it, you are doing MATLAB. So, divided by KN IF V minus IARA, it's constant value divided by KN, which is constant, you found it. And the first uh, requirement. What's IF? IF is equal VF divided by RF plus R. Right? So the speed is equal V minus IA RA divided by KN VF, which is constant. VF, by the way, is equal V. And in the top part, you will have RF plus R. RF is constant, but R is variable. So, separate them. V minus IA times RA KN, and now VF is equal V, the same one. Multiply it by RF, okay, uh, plus the same thing, multiply it by R. This one is constant, the first term is constant, but don't write it in note because it's different than in note. You can write it in a, anything like um, in capital or whatever. Make it in star, that's a constant value, and speed. Plus constant, make it like k star times r. So that would be relationship between, you make r in this axis and n in this axis. And the rest of the, uh, the requirement, the same thing. Uh, the, the the fifth one is like when you have armature circuit and you want to find this beat against R in armature circuit. So this is RA the field is constant back as it was and they have like added here in the armature circuit resist. Yeah, this is I, I A, I F. So they want the relationship between the speed and the resistance. So it's very simple. You are going to write our popular equation. Now, not R A, R A plus R. This voltage should be equal to all voltage minus the drop across the uh, variable resistor and the drop across the armature resistor. That would be like, I mean, so V minus RA, this is IA, IA minus R, IA, and EB is equal to KN, IF, N. You want to sketch the relationship between N and R. Divide by KN IF. 
So the speeds equal V minus R A I A. That's constant, right? Divided by K N I F. Of course, it's constant because it's constant torque. I'm assuming full load torque, right? So uh, that's I mean nothing mentioned. So the full load torque, and that's I A divided by K N. IF multiplied by R. Again, that's constant term. So N is equal constant term. I don't know what to call it. We'll call it N1 minus another constant. Call it K1 times R. That's another relationship, another straight line. Everything in this one is constant. Unknown. And all, by the way, at full load. If so, if you ask, I mean, what about if it's not uh, at full load? So you got to do uh, chain the IA according to the other load, but it was not mentioned anything like that. The same thing, I mean, will be repeated for series. I'm not going just I'll stop here and just I think uh, I made it clear now for you how you can solve your MATLAB assignment in the lab. Okay, thank you.